Hey everyone, this is Eric, also known as Hollywood Frodo around YouTube and various social media places. Uh, this is a new series I'm starting on Google Sheets, Google Sheets for beginners. And uh, so what's gonna be taught in this class? Well, this is your spreadsheet right here. Um, hopefully you kind of know what a spreadsheet is, but even if you don't, I'm gonna cover that. Uh, you're maybe familiar with Excel or have heard of Excel at least. Um, and that's really, here's the thing about this class. If you don't know anything about spreadsheets, you can take this class. If you know something about some things about spreadsheets, but not a lot and you wanna learn some more, there's stuff for you to learn. Even if you're an intermediate user of uh, Google Sheets or spreadsheets, there might likely be some tips and tricks that you haven't heard before that you'll learn. Because I find that even though I've been using spreadsheets for years and years and years, someone will do something a certain way and I'll be like, wait a second, how did you just do that? And they'll show me like, wow, I never knew that. Just because you know, you don't know what you don't know, right? So this is gonna kind of be for really anybody, but it is a beginner level class. So we're gonna start with the very basics. Um, we're not gonna cover a lot on formulas. This isn't, that's more of an intermediate to advanced uh, level of spreadsheets. Uh, with this class, we're just gonna talk about the basics, but there's so much basic stuff. So that even if someone gives you a spreadsheet that has lots of data and information in it, uh, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate that data, how to use that data. Simple tools that you can use to really get more out of uh, spreadsheets and specifically Google Sheets because maybe you're someone who's been using Excel for a long time but you've never used Google Sheets and maybe now you need to the business you're at is using them or you just want to learn it because it's free and it's available to you to use at home then this can help you just sort of familiar familiarize yourself with Google Sheets and take what you already know uh, from Excel and transfer it over to use in Google Sheets um, so first thing I want to do is I want to give you a video settings tip uh, I'm gonna jump over here. This is one of my videos on my channel. And this is a little settings cog down here on the bottom right of this video. If you click that, then uh, you'll see one quality. Right now it's set to auto 720. But you can go all the way up to 1080p. Um, and that's what I would recommend. You go as high as the video will let you go, either 720 or 1080p. Now if you have very bad internet, that may not work for you. If you're on dial up, forget it. But uh, hopefully you're not on dial-up. Hopefully you have decent internet speed and you can go all the way up to 1080p. Just because when you're looking at a screen like this with all these little tiny words and stuff, uh, you need it to be as crystal clear as it can. If you're just looking at me talking and that was the whole screen, then you could go get away with a lower resolution. It wouldn't matter. But when you're doing a tutorial like this, seeing all these little tiny things, these menus and stuff, you need to be able to read those words and see them clearly. So that is why I would recommend you uh, change that to uh, the highest quality setting. And then secondly, uh, playback speed. Uh, now right now normal, I mean, it's just gonna play back at a normal speed, but you can up it. You can go to 1.25 just a little bit faster or 1.5 or even double speed, which is probably a little fast. But I watch a lot of tutorial videos on 1.5 because I can only teach this and talk about this and go through this at a normal speed. But if what I'm going over is something that you kind of already know or you just pick up stuff you can hear really fast and follow along really fast, then at 1.5, you get the same information. You can still clearly hear the person talking, uh, but it speeds it up. So just know that you can change the speed of the video um, as well as, of course, jump around to different points in the video to find different things, uh, different things that you need to learn if, it, if what I'm on right now isn't something that's important to you. Uh, and I just want you to know that because, yeah, in any of these lessons, I'm going to try to keep each lesson uh, kind of short and not have really long, long lessons, but have just a short lesson. And, but maybe you just need one piece of information out of that lesson. You can kind of jump around to find that. So just keep that in mind throughout this series. Now, uh, today we're just going to, this is just an intro video. Uh, like I said, it is beginner, beginners. Uh, this is Google Sheets for beginners. So... First, let's just talk about how you get to Google Sheets. There's really two ways. And uh, one of them is to go to uh, this URL, which is docs.google.com forward slash spreadsheets. So I'm gonna paste that there. You see that docs.google.com forward slash spreadsheets. If you hit that and plus return, then it takes you to Google Sheets. And you can take a tour. It'll show you some tips and stuff. But 
you see it right here and there are some uh, templates that you can use uh, or you can start a new blank spreadsheet. So that's one way just to go straight into Sheets. Um, but that's not the way that I use. It's not the way that most people use, especially if you're using Google for Sheets and Word documents and things like that. Then you generally go to Drive. So it's drive.google.com or if you just go to Google and type in Google Drive and do a search, you can click the link and it'll take you right to it. So what is Drive? You can sort of think of Drive, this is a very general uh, description as sort of being the equivalent to uh, uh, Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Office has uh, Word, it has Excel spreadsheets, it has PowerPoint, things like that. Um, Drive has stuff like that too. If you click the new button, you can see you've got Google Docs, which is like Word. You've got Google Sheets, which is what we're going to be talking about. You've got Google Slides, which is kind of like PowerPoint. Um, and Drive becomes sort of like just your place to store this stuff. So you can create folders, you can put things in folders, you can create new documents, new sheets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so if you wanted to create a new sheet, you can see I have these sheets here that are already here. I could double click on one of those or open them or one of these on the top. Um, but I can click the new button and click Google Sheets and that will open up a new spreadsheet. So that's basically uh, what uh, this, uh, how you get to the spreadsheets inside a drive. I, this is not a tutorial about drive, but I just wanted to show you that, that is uh, probably the way that most people are gonna get to uh, Google Sheets to use it is to go into drive and then open a new spreadsheet. So uh, let's talk a really quick about the simplest definition of a spreadsheet. What is a spreadsheet? Just in case you don't know, uh, it's basically just a sheet of data made up of columns and rows. You see it right here. You have uh, all these columns at the top that are always lettered, A, B, C, D, E, etc. And then you have rows on the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to, I don't know, thousands. So that's basically what a spreadsheet is. And you just it's just full of data and that's how you uh, use it. So each intersection, so I'm gonna click, that's an intersection, that's called a cell. Each one of these little boxes is called a cell. The address of the cell is the intersection of the row and the column that it is in. So you always start with the column. So right now, this one that's highlighted, this is E6. And you can see that because on Google, whenever you click a cell, it shades the column and the row uh, to show you the address of that cell. So this is G4, and this is H14. So that's a cell. So a, a worksheet or a, a spreadsheet or Google Sheet is basically just this bunch of data that's stored in columns and rows. Uh, and those columns and rows lead you to cells. Uh, now one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes a, uh, a spreadsheet or a Google Sheet will be referred to uh, as a workbook. Um, that's a carryover from uh, Excel. A lot of times Excel would call them workbooks, but generally people just call them spreadsheets. But uh, inside of a spreadsheet, you, you can have multiple worksheets. And we'll talk more about that in future lessons. Uh, this, when you first open a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, a new sheet, you just have one worksheet. This is all, this is the one sheet that's here. But you can have multiple of these inside the same file. And uh, again, we'll get to that in future lessons. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing I do want to say is, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, Google is always updating uh, Google Sheets, they're always trying to make it better, add things to it. So there is a possibility that if you're watching this video in the future, there may be something that's a little bit different. Uh, don't let that freak you out too much. Just uh, kind of Google, if something seems different, just Google search for it. Uh, most things, I mean, they don't change a lot. Just little things, little add-ons and things that may change or an icon might be one spot over from where it is now. But uh, just keep that in mind that things do are always changing with software. So if you're watching this two years from now, it might be a little bit different than it was the day I made this video. Uh, but more or less, everything should be the same. Anyway, that's it for this uh, intro video. Uh, in the next lesson, we're really going to dive in and start getting into uh, all the different uh, things that I want to show you and teach you about Google Sheets so that you'll be able to use Google Sheets uh, especially if someone sends you one, you'll be able to use it. Uh, and we're gonna cover a lot of different things. Uh, we are gonna cover things like, how, what about 
uh, saving a Google Sheet as an Excel file or bringing an Excel file into Google Sheets. Um, what about if I want to uh, manipulate the data in a spreadsheet to only see, I have a list of kids and I just want to see uh, only a list of the females or only a list of uh, people who are over 50, those kind of things. We're gonna cover a lot of different things and, and all simple ways to do all that stuff. No formulas, no complicated stuff, very simple stuff. Um, and then at the end we'll get into formatting. So there's a lot of different things we're gonna cover. So uh, just subscribe to this uh, or favorite this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel. I also do lots of other types of videos. So feel free to check those out as well. Um, as always, you can post uh, questions in the comments section uh, below the videos. And I do my best to get back to you as soon as I can, uh, as time allows. And uh, yeah, that is about it. So uh, welcome to uh, Google Sheets for Beginners. And I look forward to seeing you in the next class.